questions. Question oral, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Minister, they want to get back to work, they want to get back to normal life. That's why we're seeing demonstrations not only in Ottawa but right across the country. The Prime Minister has caused division by overtly politicizing vaccines and the pandemic and calling these Canadians names. And now he's saying these protests really aren't his problem. They're the provinces or maybe even the cities. When will the Prime Minister stop hiding, show up for Canadians, show some leadership and fix the mess that he's created? The Honourable Minister. The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I uh, appreciate the question. I think that what we have to ask at this moment in time is what needs to get done to get Canadians safe and out of this pandemic. And what we know is the best way we can get out of this pandemic is to get vaccinated. We're all tired. We're all frustrated. But we have to ask how we can continue to sacrifice to keep those safe around us, to make sure that we follow public health measures and do our best to get out of this pandemic, keeping as many people safe and alive as possible. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Speaker, Dr. Tam and other health officials across the country have started to change their language on lifting restrictions. According to Dr. Tam, things like vaccine mandates should be re-evaluated. Countries around the world have started to lift restrictions or actually end them altogether. So can the Prime Minister tell Canadians today when the government will quickly respond to our public health officials and begin to lift all the restrictions that they've imposed on Canadians? The Honourable Government House Leader. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, let's be clear uh, that the mandates, most of which she's speaking of, are provincial in nature. That the uh, mandates. Can we, can we go ahead? Okay. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition just asked a question. She'd like to hear what has to be said in response to her question. Please let the Honourable Government House Leader answer so she, he can, she can hear it. The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, I heard some yelling that they want to end the uh, mandate for, uh, for truckers to be able to get vaccinated. But I would point out to the Honourable Members across that the rule exists in the United States, that even if it didn't exist in Canada, they would have to have it in order to enter the United States. Here are the plain and simple facts. Canadians need straight talk about how to get out of this pandemic. That means following public health guidelines. That means getting vaccinated. And yes, it means talking calmly and rationally about what are real solutions instead of trying to be incendiary and try to elevate a situation that is not about the pandemic, that is about politics. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, thanks to that member. I see the Prime Minister is still in hiding and that member's mansplaining to me how to stay calm and rational, which I don't appreciate. Wow. Mr. Speaker, Canadians wow. have suffered. They followed the rules. They've done what they were asked to do. We can't have a slow and drawn-out process of reopening just because the Prime Minister is hiding and in denial. Dr. Moore in Ontario said recently, I think we have to start to understand we've got to learn to live with the virus. In Canada, living means living freely. Will the Prime Minister follow the science, follow the advice of experts and assure Canadians that he'll be removing all federal vaccine mandates quickly? Mr. Speaker, for two years, Canadians have dealt with a global pandemic that has stressed all of us. There is not a Canadian who has not gone through an incredibly difficult time. The question that we ask on this side is, what is the science? Now, the rules say that we stop at 3 o'clock. We've been very flexible going beyond that. I'm sure we don't want to cut off any questions because we can't hear anything. The Honourable Government House Leader, from the top, please. Mr. Speaker, we need to follow science. 
we need to very closely look at what is the best way to get out of this pandemic using evidence, not politics. We are not in a place where we can afford to play games with public health. Instead, we have to take each step one at a time. The reality is our beleaguered health care uh, workers who are on the front lines in hospitals, in health care settings across the country, are tired. Our hospitals are full. All of us need to step back and ask how we can sacrifice and do everything we can to get out of this following the best public health advice.